An emotional vigil tonight for a woman killed in a hit and run crash as police continue their search for the driver. KCAL 9's Leslie Marine is live in Long Beach for us at the crash mm -hmm. site. Leslie. Juan Serene, well, the details of what happened really are tragic. We know that the car hit the woman just down the street from where we're standing and then dragged her body all the way to this intersection that's pretty busy at fourth and pine here in long beach and that's where this memorial now sits tonight and we spoke to some of the people that loved the victim the most he took something from all of us that is very important and it hurts and it hurts really bad christine sorge lays down flowers for her friend of 25 years darcy hooker a memorial is growing at the site where 41 year old hooker was hit and killed just two days after christmas she was the most precious thing on Friday night, close family and friends of Hooker came together for a vigil to remember the woman they say had gone through tough times, but always stayed positive. Always up, even when everybody else is down, she'll try and cheer you up. I just like to, everybody to remember as a, like, a really beautiful, genuine person who's been through a whole lot and still always kept a smile on her face. Long Beach police are looking for this red pickup truck seen in these surveillance photos. Police believe the driver hit Hooker just before 5.30 p.m. on December 27th near 4th and the Promenade and dragged her body down the street before taking off. Police say another vehicle also struck Hooker, but that driver got out to help. It's two days after Christmas. It's mind-blowing. People are coming home from work. This is a busy area. People walk. The gym's right here. All the neighborhood people. And I'm just stunned that no one has seen more of it. Friends and family say the memorial wasn't just about remembering Hooker, but it's a chance to get the word out to find this driver. We will find him. Your red pickup truck will be found, sir. Because they believe if roles were reversed, Hooker would have stopped to help anyone. And we're so hurt that you've taken her. And for you not to stop and care and show any remorse it hurts even more. Tonight, police say they do not have a license plate, but they did describe that pickup truck as possibly being a late 90s, early 2000 model with two doors. They're asking anyone with information to come forward to Long Beach Police, even anonymously. Reporting live in Long Beach, Leslie Marine, KCAL 9 News.